And dad's making a movie while Haley's getting busted. Well, after after almost five years and several times on Craigslist, I managed to get the bike back. Unfortunately, when I sold the bike, I sold it to a young kid who didn't realize what he had. Uh, I got the bike back. And the wheels are kind of rusted couple other things but for the most part I managed to clean up everything but unfortunately some of the gold has pitted um, two things I'm either going to buy new wheels or I'm going to take and break these down completely and have them um, redipped I don't know as far as the engraving if that's going to disappear disappear in the in the uh, redipping process, but if it costs too much to have this and all these other parts are dipped, I'm just going to buy new 72 spoke wheels and refan them, and uh, maybe just hang on to these 144s for a while. But uh, for the most part, I put new bearings in the crank, new inner tube in the back, um, put everything back close to the back of the way it was when I sold it, except for that stupid looking bumper that they put on. I took that piece of crap off. But I managed to keep the bike as pretty close as I can to what this guy named Matt sold it to me or gave it to me a while back, about five years ago. Um, the mirrors I took off, I'll be putting those back on or buying new ones as well. But for the most part, this is it. A 1967 Schwinn Stingray Jr. that I used to own about 10 years ago. Back then, when I owned it, it was red and white. And the guy who got it from me really went down. But I'm really glad that I got it back. And I'm going to hang on to it for a while. Let's see what happens between now and the summer. See ya!